I have the coziest drink for you to try today. It is cinnamon tea made with cinnamon bark from Armenia. It's super quick and easy, and I know it is going to give you such a happy and warm belly, so keep on watching and I'll show you how to make it. What is up everyone? My name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today I am showing you a delicious and simple recipe for Armenian cinnamon tea. So it is cinnamon tea made with cinnamon bark or cinnamon sticks as you'd find them called in the grocery store. Here's a little fun fact for you. There are two different types of cinnamon sticks that you could find when you're shopping. The first one is the cassia cinnamon and this is the kind of cinnamon that originated in China and it's probably the cinnamon sticks that you're finding in your local grocery store. It has a brown reddish hue to it and it's a lot more inexpensive to produce so that's why it's a lot more common to find. The other one is called Ceylon cinnamon and that is the kind of cinnamon that is found in Sri Lanka and parts of India. And it's a little bit more elite, if you will. It's more expensive, it's softer than cassia cinnamon, and it is really delicious. So it's definitely a recommended type if you want to try making desserts that are based around cinnamon with a really good cinnamon flavor. The cassia type of cinnamon that you find in the grocery store can actually be toxic in larger quantities. So if you're gonna be making the cinnamon tea every day, splurge for the little bit more expensive kind and go with Ceylon cinnamon instead. However, if you're just drinking this every once in a while, no big deal. We're gonna start by using three cups of water. And you can go ahead and add that into a small or medium sized pot. Next, we're gonna add four cinnamon sticks into the water. And then we are going to bring the water to a boil. Once the water reaches a boil, we're going to reduce it to a simmer and allow it to simmer for about 15 minutes or so. You'll start to see the color change in the water. It'll start to turn like a more red or brown color. And once it's been about 15 minutes, you can start to smell the fragrance of the cinnamon tea. Then it'll be time to enjoy. You can see here that I have my pot of water boiling on the stove with the cinnamon sticks inside. This is a great option. This is normally what I do. If you have a tea kettle and you prefer to use that, you can always do that too. So bring the water to a boil in your tea kettle, then remove it from the heat. And then you can have the cinnamon sticks ready in a pot that's not on the heat. Um, just pour the boiling water into the pot with the cinnamon sticks and let it steep for about 10 minutes and that will result in delicious cinnamon tea too. Once your tea has been steeping for about 10 or 15 minutes, it's time to serve. Now there are a lot of ways that you can enjoy your cinnamon tea. Um, you can enjoy it as is, and it's delicious that way. If you want, you can add some sweetener to it. So I have some honey that I'm gonna put in here, but there's also granulated sugar as an option if you'd prefer to do that too. As well as a couple of other things you can try. If you wanna add milk or cream, you can have a creamy cinnamon tea. If you want to put it in the fridge and then serve it iced the next day, you can have an iced tea with the flavor of cinnamon. And then you can also add a couple of other flavorings in there too. So lemon juice would be really good, um, ginger, cardamom would be delicious or even um, some black tea bags you can have a half and half and that way you can have some caffeine too. Also if you happen to see any pieces of cinnamon bark floating around in your cinnamon tea you can also strain it through a cheesecloth to make sure to get any of those pieces out before you drink. I love making drink recipes on my YouTube channel because I think it's a really fun and also easy way to taste the different flavors of countries from around the world. And this is such a fun way to taste Armenia. So thank you so much for following along. If you want written instructions as well as some other tips and tricks, you can find the link to the instructions in the description of this video. Give me a big thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed watching me make the cinnamon tea and leave me a comment in the comments down below telling me what other recipes from around the world you want me to try, especially if you have fun drink recommendations. Check out all of the other recipes that I have on my YouTube channel because I know that there's something you're gonna love. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you are cozy and enjoying your tea and don't forget to put some culture in your kitchen this week. What do I call it? Like, I, it's like the highbrow cinnamon, but I don't wanna call it that. Oh, I like it. One day we'll get it right, Paul. One day. <laughs>